Well, hello, hello, my beautiful wolf pack. Oh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. My beautiful air signs. Thank you for joining me. If you're new, please hit that subscribe, hit that bell button so you can get the notifications, hit those likes, and I appreciate if you share. Okay, what and if you know someone this will resonate with because uh, you know a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, um, share it so they could um, or ask them to come and listen to the messages. Okay. Um, so we're gonna start. So if you're a cross watcher, again, like if you let's say you're Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, you want you're dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, or maybe you're dealing with um, Sagittarius, go and check that that message out. Okay, here we go. Let's clear the negative energy around this. Nice, nice, nice. And I just wanted to say, um, belated happy birthday to all the Virgos. We I forgot to add, mention that before. Now we're going into the Libra season. Woo, woo, woo. Libra gang, gang. Um, my birthday is coming up soon in October. So everyone that's going to have a beautiful birthday, I hope you have a great one. Okay, and blessings. Now, anyone dealing with mental, emotional, or physical pain, let this bring you some healing. All right. So we're gonna ask my beautiful guys to please bless and protect the space. I ask that you ensure only trustworthy answers come from the divine through these cards. And I ask that you let me see, hear, feel, and know the messages you have for my wolf pack, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And I ask that this reading brings blessings to everyone involved. So it is, so be it. So let's see what messages for my beautiful air signs. Remember, I always confuse air sign when I constantly say air or vice versa. And I apologize in advance in case I do that, okay? What air signs? These air signs. My beautiful air signs. My beautiful air signs. I hope you guys caught the general reading on Monday, the love reading on Wednesdays, and Thursday is the work and money, and Saturday is the person on your mind. What message you have here for my beautiful air signs? Gemini, Libra, Libra, <laughs> Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You gotta stand up, Aquarius. Stop laying down. Stop laying down, Aquarius. <laughs> oh, you just wanna be lazy, right? Okay, we leave you like that. And then I have an end. <laughs> All right, here we go. That could be somebody. <laughs> Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Air signs, please and thank you. Air signs. What message you have here for my air signs? Okay, I'm gonna take one for the air signs, and then I will get one for Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay, so for air signs, what message you have here for air signs? Whoa! And it's funny because I saw that when I was shuffling. Very nice. Sun. Look, and it fell on top of you, Aquarius. Meaning, get up, do things, right? See the sun, go out into this, you know, get out of this. <laughs> so, for all of you guys here, for the um, everything that you've been dreaming of, everything that you've been contemplating, thinking, or maybe mat trying to manifest, right? You don't have, this is now, maybe this is now sleeping on it, right? Because this is like constantly not sleeping, constantly being, um, you know, down, constantly being in your head you know in your head the illusions that you had maybe before look at the full card hello, hello all right so the sun card now we this is going to be a lot of things here this could be starting over for you because the child here is mostly starting over mostly being everything innocent everything new um it also means clarity of something that has to be um clear for you something that has to be spoken up something that has to come to clear right something that has to come to the light has to be revealed whatever that means for you okay so I'm gonna get a card for each. I'm gonna get two actually, cause I usually I'll get one card for each. And but this time around, I asked, I did that for the other signs. So I'm gonna do it for you guys. I'm gonna take clarification. One card for, one card for each. But every card is gonna have at least one card, right? For clarification. There, I said it. <laughs> here we go. Okay, Gemini. Why is the sun here for Gemini? Please and thank you. Why is the sun here for Gemini? Yes, Gemini. Didn't I say clarity? This is balance, this is clarity, this is knowing, right? You're going to be knowing now, whatever this means for you. You know, being in, in that position that you are intelligent and you know you can't get fooled anymore, maybe. This could be dealing with, with a, the, another gender also, the, the same gender. Whatever that means for my beautiful Gemini, right? 
but it just means clarity here. It means clarity, it means the sun, it means probably knowing things, having faith that you're you're going to probably start something new or, or going to be moving on to things that are clearer now, right? So I'm gonna get one card to clarify that. The high priestess please. Why is the high priestess here for Gemini? Yes, look. Oh, and this one. Wow, they gave you two. Okay. So this one is mostly transitioning. You've hit rock bottom, Gemini. You've hit rock bottom. Here's the light again. Remember the sun. I said clarity. So this is you alone. Maybe contemplated again. Thinking. Right? Thinking. Hello? <laughs> right? So whatever is you're going to towards or you're going... Maybe it's a, a chance for you now to stop and think and be alone, Gemini, for a little bit. To think, to put clarity and things on maybe yourself or a situation. Mm. All right? So let's see what Libra has. The sun for Libra, please. Then thank you. Why is the sun here for Libra? Let's go. My Libra king. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, Libra. Let's do this. Yes. Ooh, I got goosebumps real quick. Libra, the sun is more clarity, more celebrations for you maybe. Right? Things that are going to clear up. Things that are going to turn around maybe and be happier. Maybe that, that part, that ending that you have. You put an end to maybe a, a, a fight, an argument, or um, a, a scuffle, or, or how can I say, or forgive me, I don't know. You're ending something here that's going to just give you celebration. Or maybe you ended a relationship. I don't know what that means for you, right? And and now it's celebrations for you, right? Because the sun came out, that means the sun is clear. That means things that you are clear now. Your mind is clear, and your your mind is clear. Because remember I would say when I see the tower card that the, this crown fell off. And a lightning, lightning bolt hit it. So that means that you had an epiphany. Mm, that clarity. Okay, Libra? Or you're going to have. There we go. Now, why is the sun here for Aquarius, please? Why is the sun here for Aquarius? And we are having, you know, celebrations now, Libra. Because, you know, our birthdays are coming up. Alright, here we go. Ace of Pentacles for um, my Aquarius. Um, these are rewards. These are um, things that are coming towards you, right? The, the sun, again, is, is a path that you're going to be taking that's going to be clear now. And this is rewards. Not only reward is good fortune. Alright? You got the Hierophant at the bottom. So that means that it's faith maybe. Uh, also could be an announcement. Also be, could be a marriage for you. Um, the, that's the path where you're going. That reward that you're getting. But let's see what the Ace of Pentacles is. Here. Why is the Ace of oh, And this one jumped up. and mm, Everything you've been dreaming of. Everything that you've had in the dark is coming out to light now. Aquarius. That's why those rewards are coming. Everything you manifest. Everything you dream about. Everything you think about. It's always been an illusion. You've been in the dark, and now here comes the light, right? Here comes the sun to clarify all this stuff, all this stuff that you've been wanting and that you've been working hard to also Aquarius. Or maybe it's telling you to work hard. That's why it's selling that card. This here keeps falling. Now it's now it's standing upright, right? <laughs> maybe you stop these illusions and make it happen. Bring clarity to this illusions here that you have, or maybe all this dream, and make it a reality. Mm. Right? All right, so I'm going to get one little last motivational um, quote here for you guys. And I'll see for who it fits. I'm going to take three, all right? What last message you have here for my beautiful... Mm, there it goes. Okay, the first one that fell was, think happy, be happy. And I believe that goes there. And then it says here, I can and I will. That goes for that. And then this one says, when nothing goes right, go left. <laughs> no, I believe this one goes here. I'm going to be honest. And this crowning here, that goes for this. Because that's the three right there. That's the sun. So, think happy, be happy. A Libra. And for my Gemini is, when nothing goes right, go left. And my beautiful Aquarius, I can and I am, and I will. I said I am, but I am. And it's funny because I was looking at this real quick. So it says here I am. All right. So those are your messages, my beautiful um, air signs. All right. So I hope it resonates with you. If you know someone this resonates with, please share it with any Gemini, Libra, or, or, or an Aquarius. All right. So take care now. Love and light always. Oh. Bye-bye.